Channel 3's total eclipse coverage is brought to you by Green Forum. Call today to go solar at your home or business. Appears to be more and more to think about when thinking about the upcoming eclipse. Try this on. The Tennessee Department of Transportation is worried about traffic congestion. It's always something, right? Mm -hmm. Channel 3's meteorologist Brittany Baggs joins us live in our studio to explain how they're preparing for the upcoming event. Brittany? Yes, Greg, Cindy, uh, the concern is people who may be on the road during the partial and total solar eclipse. With thousands more vehicles on the roads in late August to view the total solar eclipse, TDOT is making preparations. We will be doing messages on our overhead signs. We're working very closely with the Tennessee Highway Patrol and with the Tennessee Emergency Management Agency. Jennifer Flynn of TDOT tells Channel 3 they plan on handling the influx of people similar to Bonnaroo. They want everyone to get where they're going before the eclipse happens. We just want to make sure that people who are having to travel on the roadways um, during the eclipse will continue to do so. After 1 p.m. Eastern, when the partial eclipse begins, high traffic volume could create some problems for those trying to get where they're going. If you find yourself on the roads during this time, TDOT suggests you keep moving. Don't stop on the interstate to watch the eclipse while it's happening. Emergency response vehicles will need to be able to get by and stopping on the interstate could result in a ticket. TDOT is also asking drivers to avoid any distractions. Another thing is, you know, they to look at the eclipse, they need the special glasses, but we don't want people driving with those special glasses on. TDOT says they do not want vehicles parked on the shoulders. This will clog up the roads. No detours also have been set at this time. You can read this full story on our website, wrcbtv.com, under the solar eclipse tab. Reporting in the studio, I'm meteorologist Brittany Beggs, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.